Hi everybody, it's really good to have you here. We've got an opportunity to chat with Tyron Daniel, leader of NCMI, New Covenant Ministries team. And we just want to chat through some of the, the realities of church leadership, partnership around the world, what that looks like, how do we walk those things out. I know there's a lot of questions, and uh, obviously Tyron, you're not coming to say I've got all the answers. That but is for sure. <laughs> God certainly uh, guided you and led you in this role, and we really would love to hear. I think probably one of the key ones I hear all the time is, we want to be a base church. And I think the question in that is there's a lot of misconceptions about what that is. Yeah. And I'd love to hear your heart and your uh, biblical perspective on what a base church truly is and how that works in partnership. Yeah, well, thanks for the opportunity, uh, Chris. And obviously all of you have given us your time to listen. I think, as Chris said, it's good for you to hear that I don't believe I have all the answers. We've certainly walked some roads, but at the end of the day, it's a God thing and we're just trying to be biblical. So the things we talk about... Please understand they are thoughts and perhaps biblical truths, but how you go about it, you've got to work out in God how that works. We can't tell you this is how to do it. And so please be aware of that. The other thing I'm also well aware of is that I'm learning more and more that experience is not necessarily uh, godly wisdom or even heavenly wisdom. Yeah. And so in saying that, we've got some lessons we've learned in our 40 years, and obviously many have gone before us and pioneered and experienced and shown us the way. In saying that because it worked in our past doesn't necessarily mean that's the way to go forward. Mm. Same truths. I think our biggest challenge is finding the, the ways in God to reach out and embrace more people and to reach more of the people we haven't reached in the regions and the seasons and generations before. So just to throw that out there, I'm not expert in this. We can learn from a lot of guys. A lot of what I'm talking about today and we're talking about is we've learned from others. But most of all, we want to be biblical and see what it means in Scripture. Sure. Uh, as for base churches, you said a lot of guys are asking. I'm not sure a lot, enough guys are asking mm -hmm. or yeah. saying they want to be a base. And I say that carefully, but I do believe that a base church, while the, concept, uh, the word base doesn't exist in the Bible, the concept or the reality of, of what that means is evident right through Scripture, certainly in the New Testament, uh, through every local church. And uh, I'm not sure if we, NCMI, or... I think it could have been us, but we've coined that. We, we've latched onto that fra that name or phrase as yeah. a base church. And and let me just say about a base church for a few moments is that actually when you look at what God's done with us in our ranks in the 40 years plus, it's been phenomenal. And when I think about the nations and the regions, I'm again, not, well, look how, look how awesome we are. It's been the goodness of God. Yeah. But it's also been people who've understood the mandate and have built accordingly. And so a lot of the churches that have functioned and still to this day function as base churches have been so uh, strategic in helping us be where we are and do what we're doing today. Right. And in saying that, I think as we've kind of praying and processing the future God has and the region still to be reached, the city still to be won, and, and the, the call that still lies ahead of us, it's God's requiring of us to not just rely on the bases we've got, but actually to... To, to establish and plant more bases everywhere all the time. Right. And so that's why this is essential, not just look at our history, but this is about our future. And that's what we're about. We celebrate what God's done. But man, there's a whole lot more. And part of our role, my role is leading NCMIs, what's still to be done and what does God still want to do? So we want to honor our past. We want to recognize it. We want to thank those who are doing it. But we also know there's more to be done. And so sure. I think that's why the subject of base church is so essential. Um, there are many scriptures that we can look at, and again, maybe we can get into some of the ingredients of a base somewhere, sometime. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, and there's many churches you can look at as illustrations. I think Jerusalem had a, the church, early church was birthed as a base, and obviously you see the local church's responsibility and the love for one another and the generosity and all those things in Acts chapter two and three. We see the church operating, and also the outward focus to reach a city. Uh, but then obviously in Acts chapter 8, there's the, the, the scattering of the church. And, mm. and I think that's a good thing. I mean, again, I'm sure it was painful for the guys, but God was determined that, as you see in Acts chapter 1, uh, you, you'll receive power to be my uh, witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the outermost parts of the right. earth. That is the mandate from God. That's from Genesis right through to Revelation and everything in between. This great commission is to go beyond, not just in our city. And I think the early church was doing really well in the city, in the city and they were reaching the city and outward focused and generous. And, but it's, the persecution came and out of it, it scattered the gospel outside of the walls of Jerusalem. 
which clearly was God's intention from the outset. And so we saw other churches established through the book of Acts, other churches being planted, Paul planting Ephesus. You see all those churches. I think for me, one of the key churches to look at again is one in Antioch. And I've been studying through the, just uh, the, the book of Acts and looking at this Antioch church. And it, it's actually mind-blowing what God did through those people and even how, who planted it and who started it. I mean, it's just a phenomenal thing. It's not emphasizing who did what. It's emphasizing what God did and with the people right. who were focused on getting the gospel out, serving God, being faithful in it. And I think it's good somewhere for us to look at some of those ingredients from that local church. Yeah. But if I can say this, Chris, just to back up, uh, the more I think about base and pray through this, which is, is big on our hearts, certainly believe it's on the heart of God, as we kind of go forward into the future God has. In its simplicity, I believe a base church, is, it's got to be two things. It's got to have the heart to be in a, a base, and you've got to be intentional about being a base. Uh, and to me, a base church is simply a church that exists for the benefit of others, hmm. which is a heart and an intentionality. You can't just have a heart and not do it, but you can't just do it without the heart. And I think right. some guys are, have the heart for it, but are not interested in doing it. Others are trying to do it without the heart, and, and it doesn't work. And so if that is what a base is, then surely every local church should be a base. Right. Every local church should have a heart to be a blessing to everyone else they're not the focus it's back to the revelation of the king jesus and his kingdom advancing in and through who we are so.